our favorite time of the week. And all month long, we have been talking about determination. And determination is deciding it's worth it to finish what you started. And anytime you feel stuck, you have to have what, Miss Ruth? Determination. Yes. You have to have determination in order to get unstuck. And it may not always be easy, but God can help us find strength that we need Thank to keep going, God. right? And you know what? We are determined oh. that you guys are going to love this game this morning. And it's called Beard Masterpiece. Tell us more, Miss Ruth. Oh, so we're going to go crazy today. But all you would need if you're going to play this game is shaving cream or Cool Whip and some Fruit Loops or Cheerios. And I'm sure you've got something like that in your house. So what we're gonna do is we've invited some friends to play along with us today. Can y'all say hi? Hi! hi. <laughs> yeah, so this is a game though you wanna probably play outside. And in, in just a few minutes, we're gonna take the shaving cream or Cool Whip if you have that, and we're gonna put it on our face to make like a beard. Our friends here are going to throw their Fruit Loops at our face and see how many they can get stuck. And they're just gonna have one minute on the clock. So, are you ready, Miss Elisa? I think this is a pretty crazy yes. game we can play today to get ready for summer. These kids aren't in school anymore. They can have fun, right? Woo! Yes. yes. All okay. right, so here we go. We're just gonna put some shaving cream, make a little beard. Yes, so that we have lots that are going to Oh, let me, on. let me put my protective eye gear yes, on. Yes, they're gonna stick on our face. Oh, this feels wonderful yes okay and it smells you ready good too. We're can ready. i put it on your on your head mm. in your hair <laughs> that looks lovely miss yes <laughs> i think there's plenty here for them to throw okay plenty going? we got a minute on the clock go oh come on madison oh my yes. goodness yes. whoa oh, oh glad i have eye gear on <laughs> Maybe try one or two at a time. <laughs> Levi, come on! Oh, yes! How many do Keep I have going. on me? I have a lot. Really? <laughs> Ooh. Oh, yeah. Really good. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Keep trying. Y'all are professional fruit loop throwers. Oh, I'm <laughs> You're done. Yes. Oh, Miss Ruth, you look great. <laughs> Making our masterpieces? No. <laughs> this is all we have. Oh, okay. that is awesome. So our time is up. How well, do we do? how do we look? Yeah. <laughs> you guys can it's right there dripping. Oh, no. Well, guys, that was fun. Thank you, kiddos, for Here helping us play our game. Here, hey, you guys that. vote. Who do you think did the best masterpiece? <laughs> But we just want you to have fun. It's summer. Have a great time. But stand up because it's time for us to worship together. Woo. Yeah. That sounds good right there. Let's do this. Come on. Now here we go. Find somebody, give a high five. Find somebody, give a high five. Find somebody, give a high five. Now here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Come on. Hands up. Clap once. Hands up. I clap twice. Hands up. Clap three times. All my friends are here and I'm feeling free. It's about that time to move our hands and feet. There's a dance we do with our whole body. So come on, do the step, slide, clap with me. Come on. Step, slide, clap. 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 That's how you do the step, slide, clap. You see, ya. find somebody, give a high five. Find somebody, give a high five. Find somebody, give a high five. Now here we go again. There's no other place that I'd rather be, and I just can't wait to do this dance again. There's a dance we do. With our whole body Cause everybody, everybody's jumping in Step, slide, clap Step, slide, clap Let's go Step, slide, clap Alright Step, slide, clap Step, slide, clap <laughs> Step, slide, clap That's how you do the step Slide, clap, you see oh. I Clap once Clap twice Clap three times Let's do that again Clap those hands Clap once Clap twice
twice Clap three times Yeah Ha 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 Alright, alright Here's what we're gonna do We're gonna switch it up just a little bit Here we go, follow me Step, slide, step, slide, step, slide, clap Step, slide, step, slide, step, slide, clap Step, slide, step, slide, step, slide, clap Come and do the step, slide, clap again, let's go Step, slide, clap Step, slide, clap Come on. Step, slide, clap Woo. Step, slide, clap Step, slide, clap Yeah, step, slide, clap Let's go Alright, let's finish it up like this Y'all ready? Here we go Find somebody, give a high five Find somebody, give a high five Come on, find somebody, give a high five Yeah Hey guys, welcome back. What a super fun morning it has been. Well, next up, we are going to head to Mr. TJ and Miss Tia's house because they have a fun activity to show you guys. Hi everyone. We're here and we're gonna tell you a crazy story by taking one word uh, from a pile and then using that word to make a sentence. All right, so I'll start. One time, I had a really big coat. And I was wearing it down by the river. And I saw, I heard my phone and I got a text. And I decided to start shivering because it was cold. But then it started to snow. So I went for a swim in that river. It was so cold, I had to run back to my house. And drive to get cough medicine. But they didn't have any cough medicine left here, so I had to get an airplane and fly to another country. And while I was there, I visited some sharks. I also watched the dolphins. And ran with chickens. But then I decided to buy a car. And I took that car down to see some trees on the mountain. And in one of the trees, there was a television. And guess what was on it? A walk in the clouds with some lions. And then overhead passed a spaceship. And I jumped on that spaceship. And all there were were apples to everywhere. <laughs> the end. So when we started with this story, with the first sentence, we had no idea where the story would end up. But we kept going until we figured it out. And as a result, we had a crazy story. In this week's Bible story, you're going to hear about a guy who sure showed determination, even when he didn't know the end of the story. All right, that was pretty funny. What a crazy, crazy story. And I don't know if you guys could see it, but Mr. TJ and Ms. Tia, they were working on these really cool, they were like these teeny tiny little 
figures um, that they have been painting, like Star Wars little minifigures for games and stuff. And Mr. TJ said he's been working on those almost all quarantine. And that definitely takes some determination because I'm telling you guys, they are like probably that big. And then something else that I bet you guys have also probably done at some point over the past couple of months is a puzzle. How many of y'all have done a puzzle? If you have, type it in the comments and tell us what it was, like what kind of puzzle it was. Well, this puzzle right here, my brother and his wife gave that to me for Christmas. And it's, you may not be able to see very well, but it was a really, really hard puzzle. And I, I really love puzzle puzzles, guys. But that one was really hard. And let me tell you what, it took a lot of determination to get through that puzzle. It took me probably almost two and a half months to get through that. And I would work on it, then I would want to quit, and I'd go, no, I can't quit, I got to finish it. And I would keep going, and I mean, it really took a lot of determination. And you know what else, guys? This puzzle kind of reminds me of the story that y'all can listen to this week um, about a really neat guy in the Bible. And, you know, this puzzle piece right here, if you just take a puzzle piece out, you don't know what your puzzle is going to look like. It doesn't make a whole lot of sense whenever you just are looking at your one piece, but when you put it all together, and I'll try to not destroy, oops, you can kind of see it in there. When you put it all together, then you can see the whole picture and it all makes sense. And you know what, guys? God can see the whole picture. He knows the whole story and we have to keep going because God knows the end of the story. And Miss Patty, she is coming up next and she's gonna share a little bit with you guys and also do a really fun craft that I hope that y'all enjoy. Hey everyone, welcome back to Kidventure. And you know, we've been making our way through God's big story together all the way from the very beginning. And this month, we've been checking out what happened after Jesus went to heaven and the early church began to grow. Well, on the day of Pentecost, the Holy Spirit came and filled a room full of believers. And they were able to speak in languages that they didn't know. And they shared the good news of Jesus. 3,000 people came to know Jesus that day. Well, later, Peter and John told other people about Jesus. And by that point, guess how many there were? There were 5,000 believers. That's a lot of people. Some of the people needed special care. They weren't able to pro provide themselves food, and they needed help. And what do you think those other believers did about that? That's right. The believers took care of them. The apostles those who had been with Jesus while he was on earth made a plan. They chose seven wise men who listened to and followed God's Holy Spirit. And their job was to make sure that everyone had what they needed. One of those seven men's names was Stephen. Today, when, when you watch your Bible story, you will learn about Stephen and how he trusted God. But right now, we're going to take a look in the Bible and look up a verse I want y'all to look up. It's Joshua 1.9. So find your Bible, you know, Genesis, Exodus, Leviticus, Numbers, Deuteronomy, Joshua. So Joshua 1.9, I've already marked mine, Joshua 1.9, and I want us to read it together. So you've got your Bible, you find it, get help looking it up if you need help. So Joshua 1.9, and it says, Have I not commanded you? to be strong and courageous. Do not be terrified, do not be discouraged, for the Lord your God will be with you wherever you go. You remember that song we used to sing? For the Lord your God will be with you wherever you go. Well, what does this verse remind us to do? Well, it reminds us what? That we're to be strong and courageous, we're not to be afraid. It takes determination not to be afraid, especially when things are scary. It takes determination to remember that Jesus came to give us hope. Hope that we can be with God now and forever. What promise in Joshua 1.9 does? God give to help us show determination, even when we are scared and unsure. That's right. He lets us know he's going to always be there. Okay, you know what? We're going to do something. We're going to make a special bookmark. See this little monster bookmark? We're gonna make this right now. Won't be hard, real easy. And the cool thing is, he kinda of eats your book like this, so that's how you find the bookmark. But anyway, we're gonna just make it out of a square. And this square is just a, I think it's 
six, maybe six by six inch square. And all we're gonna do, it's really easy to make. You're gonna love it. Let's see, we're gonna just fold it into a triangle like this. Easy peasy, huh? Triangle. Now we're gonna take this corner and we're gonna fold it down to the bottom like this. There you go, like that. So it looks like that. And then we're gonna take this point and we're gonna fold it down to that bottom point too. Now, how easy is that? Just makes it like that. And then, I know you can use tape or glue, but I'm gonna use tape just because it'll be faster. You know how you do the little roll kind of tape here and put some underneath it so it'll hold my little flaps down. That way it'll grip your Bible, your page, your Bible or your book, whatever you use. Okay, and I'm gonna stick that down right there. And now it looks like this. Kind of looks like a, a sandwich that's been cut in triangles. Okay, well that's where you get to decorate. And this can be the mouth of your monster. But fortunately, just like the shows, we've got one already made like this. Miss Elisa made this one. See how cute he is? He's got his little mouth, okay? And he's ready to go. And you can use this bookmark as a reminder that God loves you and that God is always with you. And when things are scary and are you're unsure, you can remember that God's with you. Okay, did you get those steps done? All right, good. Okay, well this week, we want you to remember our bottom line. Do you remember our bottom line? Keep going because God knows the end of the story. You know, sometimes we go through difficult things where you can't see the end of the story, and that can be kind of scary. Maybe you're, one of your friends are, is ignoring you, or, and you don't know why, or maybe your parents are fighting a lot, and you don't like that because you don't know what to do, or maybe someone's sick, and you don't know how it's going to turn out, and you can't see the whole picture. But you know what? I'm here to tell you that God sees the whole picture. Even though we don't know how the situation's going to come out, turn out, we can have the determination because we can follow God and he does know the end of the story. I always thought it was kind of like watching a parade. You know, you see what's going on right in front of you. You don't see the start of the parade and you don't see the end of the parade. You see what's going on right in front of you. Well, the fortunate thing is that God sees the whole thing. He sees our whole life and knows exactly what's gonna happen. So when every, everything feels awkward, Guess what you can do? You can talk to God. And how do we talk to God? We pray to him and we ask him, if we, we tell him if we're scared or if we're not sure about things, we can do those and ask him to give us strength and to keep you going. So you can talk, also talk to an adult that you trust, your parents or somebody that can help you out and they're well, willing to listen to, but remember you can always pray to God. So you need to find that strength just like Stephen did by looking toward God. Well, guys, good morning. This is Miss Ruth. I am trying to get things set up today. It's been a busy week at our house. I have a senior, Natalie, and yesterday we got to celebrate with her and just kind of do a little virtual graduation at our house. We also had a little bit of a mini prom um, at, with some of her friends this week. So we have been really busy getting ready for summer. And I know a lot of you guys, you are done with your schoolwork and that you are getting ready for summer and have lots of summer plans and at your house. And so we're excited to be celebrating summer with you guys here at Kid Venture. And I want you to know that this week, our theme is all about keep going. Keep going because God knows the big story. You may not know what summer is gonna be like for you, but that's okay, because God does. And we just want you to have fun and be in the moment. Well, I've got some pretty big news. So next Sunday, we are going to be having church at our worship center. And it's gonna look a little different. That's okay. We're going to have a video later this week that's gonna show you what that looks like. It's gonna be family worship style. 
um, we will not have the Kid Venture area open, but only the Worship Center. And, for, and so for you guys and your families that are ready and that you would like to, you can join us at the church. We have three different service times, 8.30, 10 o'clock, and 11.30, that you can come and you can sit in the Worship Center together as a family. If you're gonna do that, we're asking you to register on the Church Center app so that we can be prepared and know that you're coming. Hey guys, and one of those things is that we are excited to just smile and wave. We'll not be touching hands or hugging or any of that, but we just wanna smile and wave at you as you come in to our Worship Center. So that's gonna start next Sunday and the following Wednesday night. And we are so excited to reopen our campus so that families and people can come into the Worship Center and worship together as well for those of you who feel comfortable. Well, this week, we're gonna try to get you kicked off for summer with a couple of cool ideas. So make sure that you are checking our Facebook page every day as we put up some ideas and some activities for you to do to help you make summer the best summer that you can ever have. And on Tuesday, we're gonna be coming live with a couple of announcements for things that we're gonna be doing with KidVenture and you and your family, ways that you're, we can serve together and hang out and, and make summer great. But one event that we already have planned is a family day at Mont Bellevue City Park on June the 4th at 10.30. We're just gonna kinda hang out there. You can come bring your picnic blanket, your uh, chairs, your snacks, and just come hang with us for about an hour out there so that we can just kinda see each other and just have fun. Um, and so we're excited about that on June the 4th where you can come and just hang out at the city park with us as well. But I do wanna encourage you to keep going. It may be different this summer, that's okay. Let's have fun. Let's do things different. Let's rock our world and let's know that God is always there and that God always, always love us. Now, I don't want you to forget, Wednesday night, we are still gonna be on Facebook Live at 6.30 for WOW Kids. So make sure that you come back and join us for some games and some fun and some activities together. But before we end today, I want us to pray. Will you pray with me today? Heavenly Father, we thank you for such a day that you have given to us to wake up and just to worship together and have fun. Lord, I pray for these boys and girls that they're in their homes and that they are planning for summer, that they would make the most of it because you are there with them. You love them and that you are always part of their daily life. And I pray that they would know that and know your power and your love. We thank you for the moms and dads and the ones that just pour into them each and every day. In your name we pray. Amen. Well, guys, don't forget, we're going to see you Wednesday night. But look for those announcements every day on our KidVenture page. Have a great Sunday and Memorial Day. Bye, guys.